Well, good morning. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. My name is Dwayne Matz, and it's time again for another Primetime Devo. We're spending some time going through the book of 1 Timothy. We find ourselves in uh, 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1, and we're talking about worship and, and prayer. And 1 Timothy 2, 1 reads as follows, Therefore I exhort, first of all, that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men. That's 1 Timothy 2, verse 1. Now, much of Paul's letters to Timothy and even Titus have to do with the how-tos of doing church. Now, he's already spoken to the matter of keeping the apostolic doctrine pure, that doctrine that was handed down from Jesus to the apostles and to the church even today, to keep that doctrine pure. And he's talked about how to handle those who would teach falsely. Now, he reminds Timothy of the importance and centrality of prayer to the worship gatherings. And he mentions four aspects of prayer that are to be employed on behalf of all people. First of all, he mentions supplications. Supplicate, well, that's one of those words that we don't use a lot in our daily conversations. What, what are supplications? Well, simply put, a supplication is a petition. It's a request. In the matter of Christian prayer, it is a subject, you and I, a, a believer, asking his king for a request, asking him to grant him a favor, usually asking for a specific benefit as a citizen of the kingdom or for a perceived need to be met. Did you know that there are benefits available to God's subjects? Yeah, one of those benefits is that we are able to approach our Heavenly Father in prayer. Hebrews 4.16 says, Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Wow! Mercy! Grace, which is defined, by the way, as divine influence on the heart whenever we need it? It doesn't get much better than inviting God's influence into a situation, His grace. But there's more to remember as we bring our supplications to the King. Jesus said in Luke 12, 32, Do not fear, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. And in Romans 8, 32, we read, He who did not spare His own Son, but delivered Him up, for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? So supplicate, church. Petition. Ask. And you know what? Get familiar with the benefits of being a child of the king as found in the promises of God's word. And then apply for them. Like you would go down to the Social Security office and apply for benefits. Apply for those benefits through prayer. Apply for those benefits on your knees individually. And, as Paul is urging Timothy, apply for them corporately as a church. Ask, seek, knock. For you have a good, good Father who will always give you what is good for you, what is good for other men, what is good for his kingdom, what is good for his church. Well, that's all the time we have for today. God bless you. And remember, Jesus loves you. Tell your face about it.